streaming live across the globe to nerds around the nation. Everything Noob starts now. Hello and welcome to the show. How's everyone doing tonight? Hello. Are we talk? Okay, yeah. <laughs> good. I appreciate it there, Bob. I am Vortec. To my right is, in this order, Patrick. He is our special guest, Baker's man. Lido. And Boombody. How you doing? Oh, I sorry, I'm used to the camera. I don't know. Oh, hello, hello. Yes, he's, the, he's, not, he's not a performing animal. He can't just perform on on cue. <laughs> he's <yeah. laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to use a damn. Wait, is this some kind of show or something? <laughs> he just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Still nothing to say, huh, Patrick? Cat must catch your tongue. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we're gonna have fun with this one. We just started and the show is broken. Tonight on <laughs> E Noobs. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well let's get to it. We will not be joined by Jemmy Games this evening. She has come down with a case of the I don't wanna be here. I mean a cold. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's Someone's, get the show on the road, indeed. Someone saw, take that like soundboard. <laughs> you can't take my soundboard. He finds the perfect <laughs> noise for every occasion. I know, huh? Well, uh, tonight's that topic... That almost sounded like the Windows 98 sound. <laughs> almost. Brings back some memories. <laughs> oh, who's that? Is that Topic? What's the topic for tonight, Vortex? <laughs> the topic for tonight <laughs> is <laughs> herpes. <laughs> Seriously, though, I have it. Could they be in you? Uh... They could be living in your house. <laughs> the topic for tonight is something very, very intriguing. Uh, there's a rumor going around that. PlayStation, Microsoft, and Sony, both PlayStation and Xbox, will not be revealed at E3 this year. Rather, they want to have their own private events way before E3 this year to reveal the systems, and then E3 will be in charge of showing off all the new games. And as you can imagine, that's a very strange thing to do because the tradition for several, several years has been <coughs> releasing... Since... Yeah. yeah. Since the dawn of E3... That's where you release the console. That's where you you go. We don't release, release them, everything. But you, what? It's where you release everything. It's where you do your the, the new games, the new everything. Exactly. So you I know you know what that means. You know what that means. Um, e three is going to be dominated by iOS, and that is the name. Don't say that. And and that and that is what the world will into the sound of fingers hitting pads. Oh. Well, it's interesting how Microsoft and Sony decided to do this very same kind of thing. Well, they haven't like, decided. It's a rumor. But it's weird. How, it's weird that you know it's what I mean? like, Xbox, you know, Microsoft is going to do it, and then Sony is going to do the same thing. It's like, it's like they keep an eye on each other. They probably really, they really do. Well, they, sure. They both have people on the inside that are at great risk of being fired from the opposite companies. <laughs> It looks like we lost Patrick already. He, he but just you walked out of the show. Double paycheck, though, right? The, the dual <laughs> paycheck. Right just... He didn't flip everybody off yet. Yeah, that's his exit move. He <laughs> normally flips everybody off and says <laughs> nothing, just leaves. <laughs> no, I, I roll, man. I'm a ghost. <laughs> so, my thoughts Sorry, on that were, I, I was a severe disappointment. I. I was actually kind of like toying with the idea of looking into tickets for E3 or see, I know it's probably a super expensive event to attend, but there are way better events to attend. Dragon Con. All I know is it's super televised and really hyped. So I'm like, that might be a cool thing. I, I might have some free time this year to do something like that. And now I have little to no interest in E3 if that's what's going to happen. Because what's the point? I mean, I unless you live in California, why are you going to E3 anyway? Because I'm bored and I've never been to a convention of that sort or, or that caliber. I, I think maybe because of... Anime cons are so much more fun. 
Anime? I think because yeah, I anime. Like I don't Kong like. Or... I hate anime. Well, well, that's it's not where... just anime. It's everything. I think with the uh, the Xbox and PlayStation thing, I think um, there's a lot of competitive competitiveness at E3, and maybe they want to announce and have their own thing going on before then, so that they can have all the attention on them. Yeah, does that make sense? And then that way they can uh, reveal it, show it off, and all that good stuff, and then everybody can go to E3 and play around with Apple stuff. That's, well, what it is... I think it would be is, cool, because you could try it all out over there, right? Try maybe. their new systems yeah. out and stuff. Maybe. But really what it is, it's controlling and being the center of attention for the consoles. Mm-hmm. I mean, but really, if, you're, if, you, if you give a shit about, you know, Xbox, or if you give a shit about PlayStation, you know, whichever one you're backing... You're going to go to that. You're you're going to go to those. That's the booth you're going to go to. You're going to go see it there. You're going to go to those. Their unveilings, and they've always been that way. It's always been, you know, you know, a guy talking on a big stage, right? You know? So I don't I don't see why they have to really to really split hairs is what it's doing, I guess. Mm. To say, well, you have to come to our event if you want to see it, you know. And really, to be honest, with 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 the with the digital age that we live in. I'm just gonna watch it on 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 you know on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Or Twitch or <clears throat> you know whatever whatever you know. I'm it's fun to get all it. the swag though, huh? <laughs> um, can be. I mean, it used to be. I know whenever whenever I went to the uh, the last big convention I went to, there was some really nice swag, some games and stuff. But I mean, it's. it's I don't see that much swag coming out of a a brand specific um, convention like that. I yeah, don't see that either. Strange. I don't see the benefit. Uh, it's probably because be... that's what pulls people. The swag pulls people, and if you don't need to pull the people, then you don't need swag. I I, I guess they just want to be like Apple. Apple has this big unveiling for a new iPhone, and then they get their own convention, their own thing. I don't know how to go to one of those conventions. I thought those were closed off to people who, unless unless they were like had a media backing, they weren't allowed to go. I thought they were private events. No, not not completely private events. Hmm. That's the one thing it doesn't say is if they're going to be really closed off events or they're just going to be a big gaming convention specifically tailored to Xbox and to PlayStation. And and once again, I mean, all the media. I mean, looking at that the article, all the media it brings up a very good point about the media. The media is already at E3. Everyone's at E3. You know, all your different. You know, anyone who's anyone, as far as uh, we'll say news provider. You know, if it's whether it's you know G4 TV or um, you know uh, Geek and Sundry or you know whatever podcast. Um, you know, big podcasts like, uh, you know, uh, they're, they're already going to be there and they're going to be providing the coverage. So true. Well, what do you think about it, Patrick? Uh, I feel put on the spot. I don't know what to say. You, uh, what do you mean you don't know what to say, Patrick? Well, now I actually don't know what to say. Like, hey, you, something. Hey, it's, it's like when you're in class, right? And you're fooling around with something, and then the teacher says, "Oh, what do you think, Patrick?" <laughs> you go like, "Ah, uh, um, twenty-five. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but uh, I think I think it was Vortec who was talking about it, but. I feel like they're trying to. It's it's do exactly it's a one in it's a one in four chance you're gonna get the person right because there's only four in here. That's how math works, I think. That's how math works. <laughs> I wasn't good at it. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I know. I, you know, like I said, it's weird. It's different. It's different. I, maybe I, they're just gonna try something different. Maybe they've seen some success in Apple products. And they yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Let's all be Apple. Let's all yeah. be Apple. That's well, working out well for them right the... now. Hey, hey, hey. Whatever, man. They're a model <laughs> company, <laughs> dude. It, 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 uh, it worked out great for Steve Jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I was going to say, think, uh, I'm reading articles everywhere. Too soon? 
I'm, re- I'm reading articles everywhere saying that uh, iPhone could be in trouble because I guess Android is starting to pull ahead of them. Well, I mean, Android's got, I mean, it's, it's, for a long time, like, the iPad and the iPhone and the, the iOS devices were, 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 they were alone. They didn't have, there were there weren't a lot of, there, there were e-readers, but like, let's take tablets. Before, before iPad and during iPad, if you had a tablet, you were some kind of big shot because they were expensive as hell. There weren't a lot of them. Um, and the, the, the user interfaces and the operating, uh, the operating systems for them were not that great. Now that, you know, Android has moved into the tablet market. Now that, uh, Google's moved into the tablet market. I mean, you've got a, you, you've got actual competition and it's not just, you know, well, yeah, it's definitely going to sit on hand. their laurels yeah. and, and do everything. I mean, uh, yeah. Microsoft tried to do it with, uh, with <laughs> the, the Zune. But that didn't work. <laughs> I, liked, I, liked my, horrible, I liked my yeah. Zoom. I got my Zoom because I worked at GameStop and I got a discount. I liked my Zoom. I, um, I had one. I hated it. I, I was not it. a fan. I mean, it wasn't. Yeah. It, it's no iPad, but I mean. Yeah. Well, um, Android is slowly and slowly becoming a new OS. I can see it. It's a great OS. Yeah. I, well, I loved they, my, a... I loved my Samsung. My my when I had my uh, my Android phone. I loved it. Um, I've tried playing around with friends' iPhone and stuff. I, I don't care for it. I like my um, I, I like to be able to change things. I like to be able to do what I want to do with my device, yeah. not what my devices allows me to do. Yeah, that's that, it. You know, Android's definitely have to unlock the phone or, or uh, hack it basically it. to get it. To yeah. Well, yeah. like yeah. Well, I mean, I used to work for uh, for IBM or whatever at this stupid call center uh, doing a. Uh, Apple products and stuff like that, and they uh, they put a lot of effort into, I guess, making it user friendly. User friendly. There we go. Yeah. Well, they make it user and, and not not to be offensive, but they make it idiot proof. Yeah, yeah, that's no, that's you exactly can't, what it you is. You can't. You really. You can't. You can't go into any kind of BIOS and change anything. Well, that's I mean, that'll that's, make that'll make the product not work. I mean, when I did tech support, when I did tech support for uh, for, for for Wi-Fi as uh, uh, over in, in Texas, I I loved uh, Apple people because it was like check four settings, you're done, you're on the internet, bye bye. Well, you know they say that Windows is heading in that direction, right? They're too late, but yeah, they're trying. They're too late. They're well, they're they're not too late because they're I trying mean, to lock the Windows down. Is what they're trying to do. <laughs> and well, then we just... all moved to Linux, but um, yeah. The, the, and and the, that's 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 a, a big worry. I mean, because I mean, we had all the problems with um, we had all our speculations about Windows uh, Windows eight, and from what I've heard, Windows eight's wonderful. Vortec, you have Windows eight, don't you? No. Oh, dude. Um, my dad has it. And I've used it a few times. And it is it's awesome. Is it? It's is pretty it, awesome. Is, yeah, it's so, pretty so streamlined. It's like, so it's not like using a giant um, you know iOS device. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it can be like that. But I mean, the uh, buttons are freaking huge. But how big of a button do you need? Yeah, I, I mean, big and shiny, dude. That's I, I, I found it. A I pain. can understand if you're Michael J. Fox with his Parkinson's, with your hand shaking all over the screen. You need to <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Love you, That's Michael. Horrible. Terrible. Love you, Michael. I like Michael J. Fox. I Me too. He's a great guy. Me too. They actually, they actually did a Parkinson's joke. He'd probably joke. laugh at that, though. He would. They, they, they did a Parkinson's <laughs> joke on, what was it, Arrested Development or whatever, where like he hands the guy a, a, a soda, and the guy <laughs> no, he yeah. purposely shake it up, and he goes, Parkinson's. <laughs> he walks away. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, he would totally laugh at something like that. I like I like Family Guy's joke, like, he, that... Peter got a check for Michael J. Fox, and it showed the check, and it was just scribbled all over. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Michael J. Fox is great and whatnot, but but I mean, really, unless unless now we're marketing to seventy and eighty year old people, because it's like the the giant phones with the, the four inch buttons on. Them. Now, don't get me wrong, I like those when I'm using the phone because I can I can I can press buttons lazily, but I mean, come on. Well, how much you want to bet the new next thing, Xbox? Next thing you know, we're gonna have we're gonna have four foot by three foot keyboards. Wow. How much you want to yeah. bet the next Xbox that comes out is going to be so similar to Windows 8 and will be fun? They already did that with the 360. I mean, it's already yeah, it's already been that way. It's that's what they tried to do with Windows 8 and the current 
version of Xbox. Right. You're supposed you make to Windows 8 like that, but yeah. um, because yeah. if you think about it, if Apple came out with a game console tomorrow, it would tailor, it would connect with everything you have. If you have an Apple computer, an Apple phone, and an iPad, and then you get yourself an Apple game console, it'll all They'd sync all together. together. And it all do it really nicely. Windows has been trying to do that for years, and now they've finally found a way to do it. But I think they're just, unless you're talking gaming and consoles, and if Apple did it, you'd be able to play a whole of five actual games. <laughs> unless you're talking, I gaming think consoles, which you being World of Warcraft. Ugh. They should have left Windows alone and came up with something else, like Doors or something. <laughs> you know, something different outside of the regular Windows users. Can't do and, it. And come up with a new. They, new yeah. I see you can't rebrand. You can't rebrand Windows. Well, here's the thing: it'll be Windows. I forever. see what he's saying. They're trying to rebrand Windows for a younger generation, but us folks who have been using it for oh my god, I've been on, I've been using computer for over a decade now, and I've always known Windows and how it works. Now yeah. we're confused as hell. I, I tried to use a laptop, and this is what stopped me from getting Windows 8 so fast on my old on my laptop. I tried to use a laptop at Walmart that didn't have a touch screen, and I'm sitting there just trying to go back to the main screen. I couldn't get, like, I just kept missing the button. It was like, you have to just put the mouse at the bottom of the screen, and it was really frustrating. And mm -hmm. it's little things like that. It's, like, it's designed for a touch screen with almost no... Uh, they don't give two craps about the people trying to, you know, use a... Uh, a laptop or a desktop, unless you have a touch well, screen. The thing is, you're, you're, because that's what they're marketing towards. Because, to be, honest, to be honest, those of us that have been using, I mean, I've been using, I I, I remember, you know, DOS processing, uh, you know, uh, DOS scripting my own games and things whenever I was a kid. Um, I mean, I don't know what it's going to take now for me to go to, I mean, really and truly, I'm about ready to go to Linux because... <laughs> It's not like I go buy computers from stores. I build my own computers, and I'm just tired of the Iowa. I'm tired of their of their, of their crap. If they didn't cost so much, oh yeah. I'm and then so, of course, I mean, I'm so you're, sick you're, of that. You pay like what? Five, I'm, I, I haven't had to buy one for a very long time. What are they like? Four hundred dollars usually for the um, length of their time. Three fifty for the for for most of their life. To upgrade from seven to eight was actually super cheap. I think it was like. Twenty or thirty bucks to upgrade your Windows Seven, your, but you had to pay <laughs> two, three hundred dollars for Windows Seven. And yeah, exactly. Upgrade cost just a few. I thought that was a good way to go, but to get Microsoft Word and all that crap that you need if you're a college student like myself, forget it. It's really expensive. You know what I'm doing instead of getting those things? Because I've had them Buy forever, them and they're too old. They're outdated. I'm using Google Docs, which has all those things in it, and then. You can download the file to whatever format you want and send it on its way to whatever professor yep. you're. And you can do that with OpenOffice too. OpenOffice.org. I send everything. They're, as PDFs. they're compatible with. Yeah. I mean, if you if you really look at it, whenever when 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 PC game because I mean if you really look at it, gaming has has as far as PCs go. Every every upgrade from from uh, from from you know let's say the the mid nineties has all been been consumer uh, consumer gamer driven because we get something and it's it's the game companies that um, that 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 push it on to be better. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I yeah. Let's steer. That's a good time to steer back onto the the original topic of the E3. No, I thing, will right? not. Let, I will not be dragged because I <laughs> need to get my drink topped off. <laughs> but no, if, if you really look at it, it's it's games get to a point we we want them better, where they need better to, to create better, and it's just it's it's a, it's a, it's a system that just climbs, climbs, and climbs. I won't say that's the only reason, but that's a, that's a major reason. Yeah. I think the reason we've been so long without a new console is because hardware finally advanced to the point where we didn't need to upgrade it, and now it's all software, and it just it never goes up at the same time. Well, and that's that's what that's what really 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 I find interesting about the uh, the, the hardware and whatnot because Xboxes haven't changed a whole lot. <clears throat> did did you guys a uh, little bit of? I guess it'd be a little bit off topic, but did you guys see that uh, one thing for the Connect that Microsoft just uh, got the patent for about uh, projecting an environment in your living room? 
I you saw mean, a photo. I didn't know what that was. Hol yeah. Holographic technology. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Working on it. I, th I thought that was pretty cool. You know, yeah, I like they've been trying to do that for my game. years. I like sitting in my chair playing my game. This is me. I think it'll be something that'll may come out and then die, just like it did several years ago. Like the virtual book? Right, that. Every 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 yeah. so often they would try to come up with some kind of holographic thing. They even had a, a video game in a video arcade that was had a holograph thing going on, and it was like inside of this box, and you basically play the video game inside. You know, you're looking yeah. into a box rather than, and it's a hologram. It was a trip, mm -hmm. but uh, it didn't. It just didn't didn't pick up. Yeah, and people are just people just... like it's simple. You got your TV, you got your couch. That's all, you know, people don't want to be staring inside a little box or, or standing in the big... I mean, I think it'd be awesome to stand in a giant room where it was a big screen around you and you, you know, played games like that, but... It's like, like in, like, Gamer or whatever. You yeah, know? yeah, like in Gamer. That'd be sick, is, dude. That was awesome, but think of the... Some people just want to come home from work and sit down in front of their console and just relax. They don't want to be standing and running right. from, they don't from wanna... people shooting at them. You know? No, I mean... I mean, and don't get me wrong, they're great for, you know, I'm sure party games will be really cool with them. Yeah. But um, but then again, I mean, how many people have enough room for more than two people to actively play something? Connect is made for, what, two people? Yeah, um, and even that's too cozy when you're in a living room setting. I, I, I know I know living rooms that are like I mean it's that that we all played like rock band and did things but I mean that was nice because you could sit down and do your thing yeah it wasn't you know I mean it's 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 kind of nice just I I'm, I'm ready for my goddamn USB plug in the side of my fucking head give me my plug and let me just jack into my games yeah that'll yeah. be that'll be the day that'll be the day where you just kind of jack into the system <laughs> I read something I don't want it on the back I think because I like my ponytail too much but um. On the side behind the ear. I think that would be a good place. <laughs> oh, my God. I read something that by the year 2050, we should be able to upload our minds and consciousness into a computer and live forever. Sure. I think that's nuts. Well, I mean, if you really if you really get down to it, what is the brain but <clears throat> a conduit for, you know, millions of electrical impulses going on? Yeah, but w will we be aware of our existence? You know what I mean? Well, I, th I think yeah, I know. that's what it's saying. Or well, would it just be, you know... I mean, if you want to get into sci-fi, I mean, uh, the the, the sci-fi aspect of it, it, really look at it, I think if logistically be downloaded into a pro into into a robot, you'd have things like like the problems that like RoboCop had and, uh, and the... You knowing you're a human... But you not having a body and the realization of not having a body and and having the and mentally coping with that, I think that's the biggest step. Once we step and we can we can we can you know live forever in a computer, that's fine. But who's gonna who's gonna uh, flip what if they delete our hard drive? Or who's, who's gonna flip the breaker when the who, breaker trips? Yeah, who's going to be there to make sure that we're staying? I think it'd be if you're like seventy years old and. You're, you have a terminal illness, but you you know you want to give this a try. You have nothing to lose. I think that. Or, cool... or if you're a vegetable, and that and that too, because, you know, a, a nothing to lose situation. Comas have brain activity, you know. Yeah. Because if people had if, if people were in comas and had no brain activity, they'd be considered just you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> would would be would that be was just a good trail off. Would <laughs> <laughs> uh, be considered. Huh? <laughs> Random snack and drink showed up. Sorry, I saw that, but it was a perfect trail off. They be considered. <laughs> so it's time for Mad Libs. It is time for Mad Libs. Oh, thank God, <laughs> what a depressing <laughs> subject. Yeah, <laughs> not to bum everybody out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> What's time for Mad Libs? It is time for Mad Libs. So I pulled up a fun one, and. I'm going to start with our guest who is distracted. Sorry. Guest. Guest Baker's man. I need an occupation from you. Firefighter. Firefighter. Nice occupation. Good job. You're dismissed. Leto, I need an adjective. Adjective? <sighs> That's what I said. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, uh, how about um, crappy? Crappy. I need a place. 
Lichtenstein. What? <laughs> oh, Lichtenstein. from uh, that's uh, nice Night's Tale. Tale. Yeah, nice. I I'm gonna spell that to the best of my ability. Uh, <laughs> I need a noun. Baker's Patrick. Oh, dildo. <laughs> 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 He's like zoned oh, out, and then a ding dildo. light bulb dildo. All right, I need another noun. Another noun, um, booger. Ugh, <laughs> all right, gonna be weird. I need an adjective. <laughs> where do you where do you see the title? Oh my god. I will go with quickly. 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 Is that an adjective? Who's who's pounding? Stop pounding. Sorry, Lido. I can't Cut hear anything. Out. Put my drum beats down. What do you mean? All right, I need a plural noun. Who? Uh, phones. Phones. I need a verb from each of you. <clears throat> um. Squatting. Go with uh, cringe. All right, so we have um, cringe and marching. Marching, cringe, marching, squatting. I need. An adjective from Lino. For me? Yes. Let's go with bold. Bold. A time span. Um, from the Victorian Kumbaya. era. No, the span of time. Oh, um, 42 days. 42 days. Nice. A verb ending in ing. Ugh. Skiing. Skiing. A noun plural. <clears throat> A noun plural. Plural noun. Boobs. Mm. Boobs. <laughs> I need another. Boobs are always good. I need another time span. Another time span. From Boombody. Mm. You got boobs. An eon. Eon. <laughs> eon. All right, I need a noun. Stop. Uh, castle. Stop running. Stop. Right. Stop I can't help it. I can't help it. I Sit on your hands. Sit on your hands. My hands. That's the lack of masturbation. Then. Sit on your hands. Oh my god. We had this discussion. No, no. We, we had this discussion before the show. <laughs> okay, I need an animal plural. <laughs> an animal plural. A plural animal. From me. For you. Okay, this I didn't... Okay. Um, an animal plural. Let's go with... Uh, platypuses. <laughs> it's platypi, actually. But go ahead. Pla is it? Uh, platypi? <laughs> I'll just... I'll put it. I don't care. I need a letter. Sounds better. A letter? A letter. A letter. Platypuses? <laughs> God. Mm, a V. V. Company name. Enron. Enron. <laughs> we had that one another time, we, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, someone said that the other day, I think. Um, all right, noun. Let's go with uh, dog bone. Dog bone. Man, the sound of those chips is making me hungry. <sighs> You're welcome. I need another You're company happy. name. <laughs> another company name. <laughs> from Boom Bath. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um... I will go with the company Walmart. Walmart. A silly word. Flimsical. Flimsical. <laughs> okay. Could you use flimsical in a sentence, please? Because <laughs> <Yeah>. uh... <laughs> we, we use real words on, 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 on these Mad Libs, okay? It's a silly word. <laughs> it is. Well, it's not uh, real. It's flimsy, but yeah. <laughs> it's <a little> flimsical. <laughs> it's bad, but the uh, only thing that came to mind was. Right. Yeah, no, what? never mind. What? It's a rated M Eats. podcast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ED. Hilarious. All right, I need a noun. All right, so. <laughs> a noun? From Lita. Yeah. Tooth. Tooth. I need a plural noun. Hmm. iPads. 
iPads. I need an adjective. Mm. Hard. Hard. <laughs> Another plural noun. Another plural noun. Um. Uh. <sighs> I didn't. <laughs> Something, okay. but more than one of them. Yes. Butt talks. No, wait, no, um, butt cheeks. There you go. <laughs> I need an animal. Always with the round, fleshy thing. <laughs> I need an animal. We'll go with a dingo. Dingo. An adjective? Dingo. Oh, man. Uh, silent. Silent. A plural noun and then a noun. And we're done. A plural noun. Man, give me uh, everything's been nouns. All right, a plural. <coughs> wait, just a noun, right? And then a noun a plural with noun. like an s after. <coughs> Think of a thing and then put. Well, it, make multiple. No way. Do you want the the noun, the plural noun now, and yes. then? Yes. Yes, I want the plural noun. Okay, so now. Uh, mine's a plural noun. Boot bodies is a regular. And then noun. now, and then the and then in the future we have a. Never no. mind. <laughs> no. Lido, yeah. I'm going to reach this microphone right. and check. Plural you. noun. Okay. I'm going to say this. Um, um is not a plural noun, nor a noun. Lips. <laughs> oh, wait. Nips. Yeah, lips. <laughs> oh, lips. Not nips. Lips. <laughs> nips. <laughs> I'm, I'm... <laughs> Surrounded by Lido. Nips. Uh, I would have just said nipples if that was the case. His, I like nipples. <laughs> his mouth sounds are permeating my nips. brain. <laughs> okay, Stop. we need a I noun. I could have said peelips. <laughs> God. His there mouth you know. sounds are permeating my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Work, I can make him stop. Anyway. Okay, I'll just kick him out of the call. <laughs> All right. Kidding. So, a noun being pizza. Pizza. Okay, good. Guess what? We're done. Thanks for listening, everybody. <laughs> Have Thank a great God. night. It's been a blast. Thank God. All right. The Mad Lib is called Job Opening. Oh, no. We're oh, and it's, it's actually like arranged like an actual job opening. Application? It's, yeah, like a like an actual like thing you'd see on a bulletin board. That's really funny. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, okay. Java Firefighter. And the company name is up top. And in the top right, it's called Crappy. Um, located in Lich Liechtenstein, whatever you said. Um, requirements. Firefighters create a dildo for customer booger <laughs> deliveries. Using, using quick, quickly, oh, using quick ins insight, as well as technical phones, they plan to cringe marching, analyze, review, and squatting booger products with all focus on quality for customers. All right, and then underneath there's a list. It says the following phones, skills, and abilities are highly bold. And then we have some bullet points here. A minimum of 42 days of experience in configuration management skiing, the functional and physical boobs of both hardware and booger environments. <laughs> Stop with the tapping. I'm not tapping. You're He's tapping. typing loudly. Oh. All right, a minimum of an eon of experience in systems cringe development, castle change management, and the operation of platypi. <laughs> should just put dildo for everything. <laughs> A minimum of an eon experience developing platypi in Java slash J2EE VML Enron's developer dog bone. Oh my god, including PL slash SQL. I don't know who thought of this one, but they should be fired. Yeah, um, it didn't sound too good. Let's yeah. see. A minimum of an Eon experience with Walmart operating systems, such as Sun Flimsical Hardware and Booger, along with developing information tooth technical iPads. It just sounds like gibberish. Like it, sounds like so it's like... it took our words and just threw them in there. Yeah, it yeah. really did. This is the worst man they've ever. <laughs> it's really disappointing. Um, experience or familiarity. And the following is also bold. Building and developing N-tier platypi, development and development of hard Ooh. applications, swing butt cheeks and a Apache dingo. What? I must be reading that one wrong. Familiarity with 
Silent Communications Lips. The excellent pizza and communications lips familiar. This is stupid. This is just dumb. That so, one's dumb. Right, I'm gonna, uh, just stop, just stop, just stop. Let me find a new I'm one. Patrick. Let me find I'm a really Patrick. nice short one. What? Short one? Yeah, just a stupid short one. I already... One. I'm playing Patrick. All right. Yeah. I chose but, that one, too. That one was a disappointing one. I didn't... I should have definitely checked that one beforehand. I've never... I've never known a Mad Lib to actually, like... You know, you'd think it won't be laid out like an applicant. Yeah. yeah, like a resume or, or not a resume, but yeah. <laughs> I'm writing them a letter. I mean, yeah, I am writing them a letter. You uh, know what I'd say to that, Mad Lib? You're out of here. <laughs> uh, I think that was Mortal Kombat. I have to say, we came up with some good words, though. Yes. I'm very uh, proud of the words we came up we'll, with. We'll yeah. find a nice little short one here, because that one sucked. <laughs> There's a lot. That's of, why uh, I always, if I'm going to host it, I'm going to look at, I'm going to put random words in there and look at it and see how it turns out. And if I like it, then I'll use it. That's how I do it. Yeah. No vortex, a terrible host. Oh my god. One time. <laughs> One time. You're fine. All right. This one's short. Okay. We'll start with Baker's Man again. I need an adjective. <clears throat> uh, crotchety. Itty. Okay, a verb ending in ed. Oh, me? Mm -hmm. A verb, crunched. Crunched. I need an adjective. Boom. Boom body. Mm -hmm. Um... Hmm. Stylishly? Style. Lee, okay. An adjective? Uh, swimmingly? Is that an adjective? Swimmingly? Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, a plural noun. A plural noun. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Let me think of a new one here. Boobs. No, <laughs> An adjective. Yeah. Mm. Supple. What? <laughs> what did he say? Supple. 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 Okay. Supple A plural noun. It is. Uh, dildos. <laughs> You're the worst bad liver ever. Uh, it, that's my, that's my answer to everything. <laughs> A verb ending in S. A verb ending in S. <laughs> Burps. Burps. Adjective. <laughs> I don't know. Victorian. Victorian. <laughs> A verb. I have to save this Mad Lib. I have to save it. That's all I have to do. Uh, P. And a noun. A noun? Yes. But. Where's it at? But. But. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Call yeah. Call right. Yeah. This is called green tea label. Oh, like Jesus. This crotchety green tea is crunched with the highly stylish, swimmingly flavor of tart green boobs and the supple, sweet flavor of orange dildos. <laughs> This trio burps up a refreshing Victorian ritual. Either pee hot or over butt. Either pee hot or over butt. <laughs> oh, Does it make any fucking sense? The, the last it makes make no sense. <laughs> it's okay. It's slightly more refreshing than whatever the hell we read before. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot more better. Well, that's yeah. so boring. I would drink this green tea any day compared to reading that again. Yeah. <laughs> With pee. With pee. With hot pee. With, with all, I'll, I'll have it pee hot. Delicious and Would nutritious. You like my pee? I think because oh, last no, week we had. I got you about to pee all over you. We had such a good Mad Lib last week, we were bound to have a crap one in there somewhere. Yeah. Figures okay. when I show up. Yeah, oh. as soon as you show up, you show up for like the worst Mad Lib night ever. <sighs> okay. Well. I want to introduce a new segment to the show called Noob of the Week. 
Now, <clears throat> this can go for anything or anyone. If you read a news story about someone who just pissed you off, like locally or worldwide, whatever. Uh, if it was someone while you were in Walmart derping around in the aisles and some screaming kid and a parent that was beating the crap out of them and throwing their kid against the cans of soup and making a mess. <laughs> sure. Goddamn kids! <laughs> I don't know. Your noob of the week, and this week is brought to you by Mr. Vito. <clears throat> This is really good. <laughs> okay, so I work in this store. I'm just going to say that. Okay. I mean, some people probably already know. Porn store. And Porn store. A dildo. customer came... A dildo. customer came... High in dildo sales. A customer came in, all right, and um, he was a young guy, I guess, but he came in and... He kind of walked around the store like really quickly, like went through all the aisles and went all the way around and just walked super fast, right? Okay. And just walking around. So my coworker says, uh, "Excuse me, uh, are you looking for something?" And uh, and he says, "Yeah, I'm looking for candy." So the candy, when you walk into the door, the candy is right there. There's, there's just like a, a display of just all the candy bars you can think of right in front of your eyes, and. Uh, so my coworker sits, yeah, oh, right there. He goes, oh, okay. So he grabbed the Snickers. He didn't even look through them. He just looked at the, grabbed the Snickers, and then he started walking through the aisles again. And we're just watching him, and we're going, what the heck is this guy doing, right? And finally, he goes through the aisle, and he grabs. I mean, literally, he doesn't like sit there and look in the aisle. He's walking. Picture a guy walking really fast, and just as he's walking through, just kind of eyeing things, and then walking down this aisle and then grabbing something and then walking up to the counter. That's exactly what he did. Okay. He grabbed uh, a foil, aluminum foil, you know, the roll of foil. And he goes up to the counter and he puts the candy bar down. And uh, he, hands, he hands us uh, an EBT. You know what an EBT is? Food stamps? Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, he hands us a food stamp ca card and that's, that was for the candy bar. And then he was going to pay cash for the aluminum foil. So he ran the card, da da da, went through and all that stuff. So he got the candy bar. Then he says, uh, then he rang up the thing, and I think the aluminum foil is like two ninety nine or some bull crap like that. Right. And uh, the guy opens up, grabs out of his pockets all this change. I mean, pennies, nickels, dimes, quarters, and just lays it on the table. It doesn't count, and he just lays it there. And then so my coworkers, we're looking at each other, and then he starts counting. He goes, "Oh, you don't have enough here." Uh -huh. And he goes, "Oh." Um, and then he goes, can I just have a piece of foil? <laughs> and we're like, no, Is you can't have just a piece or of foil. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, drug. So um, he goes, oh, okay. And he just kind of wandered out the door with, uh, with this candy bar in hand. And it was just weird. This guy was just super weird because the way he walked around the store. Well, and... he, he, he knew what he wanted in there. He knew he didn't have enough, so. I think, yeah. Well, we think that maybe he might have probably, were, if we weren't watching as hard as we were, he probably was going to open it up and steal himself some. I don't know. But anyway, that was the noob of the week that I came in contact with because um, he was definitely uh, a noob when it came to finding candy bars. Did he even lift? <laughs> Did he even Did lift? He even lift? Wait, we're not he talking about lift, Oreos bro? here. <laughs> we're not talking about Oreos here. But that was our first installment of Noob of the Week. Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness, those. There we go. Those silly, freaking soundboards. <laughs> it wasn't a joke. <laughs> the stick. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> All the punchlines. Everything you say is gonna be a punchline. <laughs> punchlines all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh wow. So we never got Patrick's take on anything. Apparently, I don't have an opinion on anything. I guess. Apparently, I mean, not. it is. It is. It is the wrap-up time, isn't it? Yeah. Just about. We we have a few minutes to kill. We got eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect so, timing. <laughs> I we might as well go back to this E3 thing. I think it's shocking, because what here growing up E3 was always about. It, I didn't give a crap about E3 unless it was a new console year. 
And now, if PlayStation and Xbox do new consoles separate from E3, and Wii U is already out, so Nintendo's not going to have anything, what do you guys think iOS would... Because Boombody was saying earlier, well, maybe it's going to be an iOS thing. What could they do at E3? It's all new games. But, I mean, if you think about who can put out the, the most amount of games... Volume wise, it's iOS. It takes no time I, to make an iOS game. I think they're gonna come out with a mega iPad. A mega iPad? <laughs> well, no, see the iPad. Yeah, is they got the, just well, the perfect they got size. iPad, I mean, mini iPad. Uh, they got the uh, iPad. They got different all these iPads. Why not come up with a mega one? <laughs> just kidding. Well, they're so, considering geez. making there, a smaller iPhone. There are two iPhone. things. <laughs> there are two things you go to E3 for. New. New games and booth themes. That is it. New games and what? New games and booth themes. That is it. T and A and G. Tits and ass and games. <laughs> that is it. I don't know. I've never known E3 to be a place There's for a lot women. Of chicks there, dude. That's really that's why I pick up all the ladies. Booth babes before before okay before the great shutdown of uh of what was it 2009. When, yeah, when, did they can, when did they yeah, cancel to the public? 2009, 2008. Yeah. I went. I went the one of the last years, and um, yeah, it, it was. It was just like it, it doesn't matter what it was. Cooking mama, slutty little chicks, and little aprons, or halo chicks in camo green bikinis, and it was just. It's 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 a, it, it's about it's about it's about three drinks short of a of a porn convention. Just saying. I can see that at maybe the yeah. anime convention or I, even Comic Con, but I've never. I mean, yeah, they hire a couple models for the booths, but I've never seen. It used to be. It used extent. to be a lot better. It, it used, used to be like be every every booth, every booth. Now, do you think those models want to be there, or they're just going where the money is? They're paid. Well, yeah, I know they're, they're paid, they but do you think they enjoy they, it? We, like, we, they don't get feelings and get paid. <laughs> <laughs> You either get feelings or you get paid. Pick one. <laughs> I, I get paid. I like what I do. I'm just thinking. Well, we can't well, all I go mean... down to the corner, can we, Vortec? <laughs> yeah. We don't all have. We, we don't all have your figures. <laughs> Stop it. Well, now Gross. I'm sad. <laughs> Hurt my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> well. I suppose about time to wrap up. We'll have uh, we'll wrap up with Patrick telling us all the things he's gonna do on his YouTube channel. Um, on my YouTube channel? Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, there's a lot of fapping. A lot of it. And a lot so of much. drumming, I bet. So much fapping and drumming. Yes. <laughs> all the fapping and all the drumming. <laughs> Sometimes I'll just like go like almost 15 minutes just staring into the camera. And that's about it. Awkwardly fabulous. <laughs> yeah, just like doing that. It's... Wait! I think I saw you on chat roulette. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're oh, that guy. guy. You're that guy. <laughs> you're every guy you're on chat that roulette. Guy. <laughs> I only saw the bottom half, but <laughs> Oh wow, it's kinda of creepy that he recognizes you from your face. That's what we call that's what we call mega skill. Oh man, I tell you. That's a crazy Ugh. Now, unfortunately, anyway. <laughs> Baker's doesn't have a YouTube channel. However, if you want to see him in a little feature film, I will be posting that in the show notes on everythingnoob.com. So you can go yeah. there. You can go there and check that out. That's pretty much the reason why it's right. so awesome. You're the reason why it's so awesome? Well, you, I guess you are, actually. But people remember you mostly out of anything in that video. Yeah, it's... Well, I mean, well, we did come up with it together, but it was just me that... It, that decided to do it. You're like, well, yeah, I don't feel like doing it. The thing mm -hmm. is, <laughs> you were smiling while you were sweating. That's the weird <laughs> part. I was like, is this guy like happy or is he upset because he's got to he's a crack come addict. up with this pepperoni or whatever? <laughs> you want to know um, what we're talking it's about? It's called bad acting. <laughs> that's, what that's what it's called. It, it worked I, though. It worked. I have no it control made you sit over my facial expressions. Try to figure out what the heck's going on. <laughs> I don't control. Uh, well, if you want to <laughs> anyway, see that, you can it's visit. It's pretty funny. It's good. You I can like visit it. everythingnoob.com. The link will be there. You can know what we're talking about because right now we just sound crazy. 
<laughs> we are crazy. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's it for now. I'll see you next Monday. All righty. Next Monday. Same noob time, same noob station. Wow. Yep. That was I really super place. cliche. I thought you were going to say place. <laughs> No. Wasn't that a Batman thing? <laughs> oh, gosh. Thank you for listening, everybody. Catch you next time. <laughs> Bye. Thank you for listening to this installment of the Everything New Podcast. Don't miss a live recording of our podcast on twitch.tv slash enoobs, recorded every Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. For information on everything you heard in tonight's show, visit everythingnoob.com and check out the show notes. There you will also find all of our past episodes, host bios, our Twitter feed, and a place to even ask us questions, which we may answer during the show. See you next week, and happy gaming.